All right, so I'm gonna show you how to make these knickknack shelves uh, that I saw on an internet site. It's pretty popular. Um, basically, the shelves look a lot like this. These are the exact shelves we're gonna be making. I'm gonna just kind of walk you through it step by step. These ones are actually made with the color shifting paint that kind of shifts from green to purple. I don't know if you can tell really with this camera, uh, but it looks pretty cool. It's kind of a subtle change. It just goes from green to black to purple. It's kind of cool. I like it. But anyway, here we go. Alright, so all the plans are readily available on the internet. So you can find them, you know, on just Google.com, Google Books, I think it was. Um, so it's nothing that's, you know, top secret or anything like that. So I'll give a link down in the comments. Um, of where the plans can be located and also kind of include them here at the video as well, just so you know what you're doing. Okay, so right now we're getting the medium-sized stencil. So what I've done is I've taken the measurements um, have right here so four feet five inches and nine sixteenths is the top nine inches and five sixteenths is the the width of it and then I found the middle of it um, two and two with two feet two inches and three fourths um, I find the middle because when you're gonna make the uh, the curve on it you have to put the peak of the curve right here on the string just kind of find yourself on down by this corner over here so you have to just curve it up and down like that so i've been using is this uh, strap right here i find the uh, radius of it and just put the pencil the radius on this one is about three feet 11 and 5 sixteenths and so i have a little mark right here on my strap and so i'm just going to line that mark up with the peak and just kind of hold the pencil as it curves down and that's how you get the perfect arc on it. So I'm gonna give that a shot right now. So I line this up up dead center with this line right here. That's so when I put my finger on the peak of that and I swing it down and like that it ends up right down there at the bottom corner. So once I, I'm gonna stab a pencil through this, just like that, and I'll keep the lead in the same spot and I'll be able to make a perfect arc. So I had to put a poster down as well on the bottom to keep the cable from snagging on the concrete. So you can see there, I have the uh, perfect curve for that shelf. So now that stencil's done, all you need to do is cut it out. You just kind of got to repeat that process for every stencil, you know, getting the length, getting the height, um, finding the midpoint, and then getting a string so you can draw the perfect circle. So um, there might be a better way to do that. Personally, this way worked for me. So once you have all the stencils, that's pretty much the hardest part of the whole project anyway. So now I'm making the, uh, the lines, like the slots of where the, uh, the boards slide into each other. So I'm going to start uh, marking them out. So this is the center line right here. I'm just going to double check to make sure I have the center line in the same spot. So that's looking at like 26 and 3 quarters. And this one is looking, I'm just going from end to end here to the center. And this one is looking right on 26 and 3 quarters as well. Just a tiny bit off on that one. Okay, that'll be all right. So then what we do is we come four and a half inches on either side of this um, and make a mark. And then what I do, once I have that mark made, I use this thing right here, just kind of, because the material I'm using is kind of like a plastic, um, just put the mark right here off the edge of the table so it sits flat. And then I can draw a straight line between the two, just right along that edge. So right here I have the large one already made up. So I have the center line and I'm marking the middle of each of the other slots. So once I have the middle, then I just need to go to make, make the slot uh, three quarter inches. 
Um, so just divide that in half and put half on either side. I might just get a piece of the plywood and just lay it down and just trace the outside of it. So that's for the slots. All right, I'm still making the stencils. What I'm doing is I went to a three eighths on either side of that center line. You know how I went to four and a half here and then I have nine inches between these center lines. And so now I'm coming across from the other side, lining that up and then continuing the line uh, with my pencil. Just like that, drawn right in there. And then I just go in and I fill in the lines um, just to make sure that I don't, that I know where the, uh, the center marks are. All right, we have all the stencils done. Just like I mentioned before, you know, four and a half inches from the center line and then nine inches in between them all. From, well, nine inches on center. Okay, so right here I have all the stencils lined up. And this is important to do just to make sure all your uh, slots are in the right spot. So if you have, let's say this is over like half an inch, it's not gonna mesh well with the rest of the pieces. So all of your lines have to be in the in the correct positions. So make sure you check that before you do any marks on the boards as far as the slots go. All right, so what ended up working out for me um, is taking a tape measure and going up the sides and putting a mark at every 10 inches just so I know where I'm at to try to keep the whole thing uh, parallel. Um, and then on this side as well, keeping it every 10 inches. And I finally got the uh, little ones to fit up at the top. So that was probably a super huge puzzle, but in the end uh, it worked out. So uh, now I just gotta cut them out and then make the slots. Just cutting out the shapes right now. Um, I'm doing it with the jigsaw. One of these little guys. I just figured that was the best uh, thing to use in this situation, just because you have the curves. Um, any other type of saw would have been would have taken too long, or would have been too hard to make the turns with, like a skill saw or something like that. Um, so yeah, so I'm just cutting out the basic shapes right now. I haven't marked or cut the uh, the grooves in it yet. I'm gonna do that afterward. Just because it'll be a little easier to cut the grooves when I have the straight edge to go off of. I can use that same metal square that I was using before. So yeah. That's pretty much it.